in terms of data governance and trust in data, there has to be clarity on a couple of things. Well, first, it's obvious, but who publishes the data? Who has pulled together the data? And somehow it has to be crystal clear. There has to be an authority, an organization, an individual, but that has to be real. That is real and that is there. And I can put like a, you know, a rubber stamp of approval on what's been done with the data and how the data has been collected. Um, and practically, uh, it also means that as part of the collection and the publication or the sharing process, there has to be a couple of checks, important checks that are to be done, right? Both on the quality of the data itself, with a number of very, very clear, uh, you know, uh, checks in terms of, well, uh, is it, you know, the integrity of the data is there, uh, the volume is right, the checks have been done, the quality also of the metadata itself, how this data is being described, uh, how up to date it is, uh, how updated it remains, how it's going to be kept uh, actually of, of good quality. And also, particularly in the context of smart cities, usually in smart cities, you have different publishers publishing relatively similar type of data, but never the same, right? And so the process of harmonizing the data is really, really important. And, and that's where somehow the, you know, a smart city data team is critical because they have to guide the different publishers on somehow you know, build this harmonization process so that all these data points can be brought together, make sense, and then be used. And that takes a bit of time, that takes a bit of investment, but it's investment that is worthwhile, right? Because if the data out there is being used, then somehow uh, it, it's going to create, it's going to create value.